Here is a quick presentation of the Hellasteel software, which we will discover with this little tutorial. Hellasteel is a design and calculation software for propellers and wings. This software allows, from a given specification, to invent, create, optimize and model the propeller or the wing adapted to our project. The main interface, where we see the project in its design and in its evolution, as well as the performance of the propeller which we are building. And we have, in the secondary interface, which is called Interactive Database, the different data that will be used in the software, according to the chosen profiles. We are not going to dwell on the database. For the moment, we are in a phase of discovery of the software. We will discover this database in a more advanced tutorial. For now, we have opened the software, the default and loaded database, and the default profile. The NACO 1408 is loaded. We will build and design propellers with this profile. So we have just opened the software, and we are going to choose a propeller model. So in the file menu we will select our model. We will take for example, a propulsion propeller in the air. We will see the organization of our interface. We have three main areas in our interface. We have this first area which is the settings area. It is in this zone that we enter and modify the parameters of our project. So first, we have a tab in which we will enter the project data. Among these data, there is of course the ambient fluid. There is the objective that our propeller must fulfill, it can be a propulsion analysis or a pressure creation propeller, like a pump or a fan. It can be a capture propeller, such as a wind turbine, a tidal turbine, a Kaplan turbine, a propeller turbine, or it can be wings, foils, or even boat hulls, or airships, on which we will analyze the trainee. Then we have, in the project data, the third tab, it is the most important point of the specifications. It is the operating point. What is the operating point? The operating point is the combination of the speed of rotation and the speed of movement. The speed of displacement is the speed of movement of the fluid upstream of the propeller. But we could say that it is the speed of displacement of the propeller compared to the fluid, which is exactly the same. It is therefore the relative speed upstream of the propeller. For example, here we have a speed of 56 meters per second upstream of the propeller. We have a rotation speed of 740 rpm. These two parameters determine the operating point of our propeller. The propeller will therefore be designed to operate at optimum for this operating point. Then, still in the project parameters, we will enter the dimensioning, the geometry of the propeller. In the geometry tab, we have the possibility to dimension the length of the blades, the radius at the foot of the blade, the radius at the tip of the blades, the width of the blade, with the form of distribution of the cords. We also have another tab, a little more advanced, that we will explore later, which allows you to modify the choice of profiles in the database. For a beginner project, we will use, as profile law, a constant profile over the entire blade. So, in the Law of Profiles tab, we select Constant Profile Law. The profile of the blade, for all the elements of the blade, is therefore a NACA 1408. If we want to modify this profile law, we select Option B, Profile Law, by Thickness. We can choose different types of reinforcements. This will condition the resistance of the blade. We can also choose the material etc. We also have here the possibility of positioning the generator of the profile. 
This allows us to modify the pitch up moment of the blade. These are slightly more advanced concepts. We'll stay for now with a generator in the middle. So much for the geometry options. Now let's see the optimization tab. We have an optimization tool in terms of rotation speed and number of blades. There is also a multiple analysis tool which allows us to edit curves of thrust, moment, power, pressure, and many other information, depending on an operating range, in speed of rotation, or in speed of movement. These analysis tools are in the Optimiz tab. There is an Alerts and Messages tab. And we have the 3D tab. When the propeller is built, its 3D model appears in this tab. The area that is here is the parameter viewing area. The parameters entered in the geometry are represented in this graph space. This third area is the results area. This area, which takes up the entire bottom of the interface, tells us the performance of the propeller. Here we can see the status of the propeller, it is refreshed. And when the propeller is refreshed and the calculations are finished, the result area is visible. We see among the results, the drag, the lift, the moments, the thrusts, the angles, and the resistances, the pressures, the pitch-up moments, the fluid, axial, tangential velocities, and the angles formed by the fluid and the blade cords. We have the pressure deltas, upstream and downstream of the propeller. We have the axial force, and the moment on the axis of the helix. So the axial force is simply thrust. We will also say the traction of the propeller. For a capture propeller, like a wind turbine, this effort on the axis will be positive. We can see the axis, the y-axis, of the blade, here, for example. The moment on the y-axis is the pitch-up tendency of the blade, under the action of lift and drag. We also have the torque in newton meters. Around the x-axis, this is the torque that will have to be produced with a motor, to put this propeller in rotation. We have in the results area, here, the shaft power that will have to be provided to make this propeller turn. We have performance indications and notions of similarity to compare propellers of different sizes. So that's it for the presentation of this interface. Visualization tools allow us to highlight the trajectory of the particles. So we're going to display them here. We show the swirls. We activate the rotation in slow motion. These visualization tools allow us to understand the evolution of speeds, axial and tangential. There are functions, like editing pressures and boundary layers. Then there are two modes of calculation of the propellers. We had in the project data, an operating point that was given. We might want to study this propeller, at another operating point, but without modifying its geometry. For example, here we have a propeller, at 740 rpm at 56 meters per second, 200 kilometers per hour. If, for example, we wanted to know the performance of this propeller for an aircraft taking off at a speed of 0 kilometers per hour, always at the same speed of rotation with the same geometry and twist. In this case, 
we will use the out of design performance calculation. For example, we will modify the speed and we will go to 0.1 meter seconds. We have changed the operating point. This has the effect of reactivating these two buttons. A button allows us to rebuild the blade by recalculating the optimum twist. So we get the optimum propeller for this operating point. Or we can use the second button here to calculate the performance only without redrawing the twist of our propeller. That's what we want to do. We just want to know the performance of our propeller at a different speed. So here, after modifying my speed, I click on calculate out of design performance at the current operating point, keeping the twist. The calculation is restarted. The result area is displayed with the new performances. So much for this quick presentation of the Heliseal software. We will of course see in other tutorials the multiple functions that we could not show here. But this already gives you an idea of the use of the software. Thank you.